And it's not only Texas. Just 10 days ago, a white supremacist killed 10 people at a grocery store in Buffalo. Our state fighting back today. Governor Lamont signed a law expanding a new hate crimes unit. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven reports. Connecticut's new hate crimes unit is based here at state police headquarters. And today we got a rare look inside. It's not much to look at, but this small office is the nerve center for tracking and preventing extremists across the state. The state of Connecticut is being proactive in doing this. Uh, we don't need to see another situation like Buffalo here. Just two weeks ago, a white supremacist opened fire at a grocery store in Buffalo. And here in Connecticut, groups are spreading racist flyers and stickers. Wait, wait. That's why Governor Lamont signed a new law expanding the hate crimes unit's reach. Starting in January, local police will have 14 days to report potential hate crimes, including threats, intimidation based on bigotry, and property destruction. The division is also sharing information with the FBI as well as New York State Police. There are a lot of tells, a lot of tells for these folks, you know, online. But that's where this group's work gets tricky. The Buffalo shooter left a trail of red flags online, but police are limited about when they can monitor someone. You're referring to the fine line between uh, freedom of speech and uh, either <clears throat> aspirational folks who become operational in a moment's notice. Another major challenge is funding. As hate crimes grow, so too does the need to try and stop them. In Middletown, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. John, thank you. And if you see something, say something. State police want you to email them about possible hate crimes. Just open our News 12 app and click on this story.